make your books, all your books open in front of you. And I wrote for you in uh, the weekly plan that please prepare reading the story, each page of the story uh, uh, for reading and prepare reading it in the uh, house uh, in order to read it uh, in the class in this session. And uh, if you, if you, uh, if you practiced reading this read, reading this story in uh, in the house there uh, will be uh, more time uh, f to me in order to make all the students read in my session okay uh, okay uh, today we will work on page 116 and please I want you for next time for tomorrow to prepare reading page 117 okay if we have time today we will write we will read sorry we will read page 116 if we didn't have time we will read tomorrow page 116 and 117 okay uh, in addition to explaining uh, some ideas for you I will start today and as you know in each story that you were talking on uh, or working on uh, I I was explaining for you that I have some characters or I have characters in each story in this story I will not talk about the characters I will talk about the characters and the place of the story and the time of the story okay yeah number one Number one, I would say that I want to talk about the characters of the story. Number two, the place of the story. Number three, time of the story. Characters of the story, you know the meaning of this word. Characters are, who are the characters who talk in this story? Okay, and Who talk in the story? Please be on time. When you enter the, the session, be on time, please. And don't be absent from uh, don't be absent from our lesson. Okay, this is uh, uh, it's important to be always this week and next week. It's so important to be uh, uh, pre present in our lessons. Okay, not only English in all on, in all sessions. Yes. Uh, in this story, the characters who are the story, who are the characters uh, who are talking in the story, who, uh, who will see them in this story. I will not write the characters in uh, the notebook or I will not write them on the board. I want you only to name or memorize the names of the characters and how many characters we have. Okay, the characters in the story are Roster, Tiger, Bees, Todd, Purple Guards, Emperor, Green Guards. These are, these are the characters. These are the characters in this story. Okay, Roster, Tiger, Bees, Todd, Purple Guards, Emperor, and the Green Guards. How many characters we have? Roster 1, Tiger 2, Bees 3, Todd 4, Emperor 5, Purple Guards 2, Yanni Saru 7, Green Guards 2, uh, this means that we have nine characters in this story. In this story, we have nine characters. The names of the story are required from you and the number of the characters are required from you. The name of the characters and the number of the characters. We want to memorize them. Okay, who are the characters? Roster, Tiger, Bees, Todd, Purple Guards, Emperor, Green Guards. What the meaning of Emperor Yamas? Emperor, it's like high man, like king. An emperor is the king of the kingdom. Okay, is the uh, the one who is um, like a king, exactly like a king. Emperor, okay, uh, the one who is responsible about all the country, about all the place. All the people go to him. All the people ask him. All the people. Uh, um, and, and supposed to help all the people. Okay, this is the emperor. At the time we called him emperor. Yes, uh, guards are the people who protect 
the emperor. Uh, the people who walks with the emperor, like the people who walks with the king, yani, to protect him uh, from, um, from danger. Yes, and you like, for example, when I have, um, uh, if I, what, what the meaning of protect? I say, for example, if you want to protect yourself from cold, you wear a jacket. If you want to protect yourself from, uh, for example, illness, you go to doctor. Yes, but uh, here the guards are the people who walk with the king or who walks with the emperor or behind the emperor or behind the king in order to protect him from bad things, to protect him from danger. These are the guards, okay? And they, they wear like each other, okay? And you can see always that they, they're clothed like each other. Yes, they wear like each other. This the characters, the characters of the story. Number two, the place where the place happened, where the place, okay? Is it in a restaurant? Is it, for example, in where? In, in, in Emirates, where it's in Syria, in Jordan? Where is the place of the story? We can say that the place of the story is in a place or in a country. We call it Vietnam. Vietnam is a, is a country, it's like any, any other country in the world, okay? But its name is Vietnam. Vietnam, it's like any other country in the world. But um, I want to tell you something about Vietnam. Uh, I want to tell you something about uh, Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam, uh, the stories at that time from Vietnam was not real. They were imagination. There, we, we can see a lot of imagination in uh, these stories, okay? Not real, not like our stories these days. Yes, uh, for example, this day, if you want to ask um, for water, if you want water, if you want rain, for example, uh, you go and you can ask God, you can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send you rain. Not ask people, not ask anyone. For example, you ask your father, you say for your father, my father, I want rain. No, you go and ask God. Whatever you want, whatever you feel that it's uh, difficult, you go and ask your God. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to send you or give you these things. Okay? We ask for difficult things only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from God, not from people. Okay? We ask for difficult things from God. God will help us, not people will help us. Okay, my father, my mother, my brother, my sister, grandfather, my friend, okay, will help me, but not to send me rain, okay, not to, to, uh, to make me succeed from grade one to grade two, no, not, to, for example, to ask God, say, uh, 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 Ya Rab, Ya Rab, you say, Ya Allah, Ya Rab, I, uh, 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 I want to succeed, Ya Rab, fit me, okay, not you ask your God not ask your friend or ask your teacher or ask your mother or ask your father. Your teacher will help you to succeed, but it will not make you succeed. What makes you succeed? Over your study and you, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your study and God. Only these two things make you succeed, not the teacher. Teacher help you only. Mother help you only. Okay, father helps you only. But what makes you succeed is God and your study. This is characters, the nine characters in this story. The place is Vietnam, and I said to you that uh, Vietnam is a place at that time, the stories in Vietnam was not real, there was imagination, and now when I read, I will give you the points of imagination, and where is the imagination, okay? But you have to put in your mind that at that time in Vietnam, the stories were not real not like our stories now, okay? And now the time of the story, the time of the story, we can say that it's dry season. You remember the, the meaning of dry? I said to you that dry place is the place that there is no water or no rain. When there is no rain, when there is no water, you can say that it's dry. When there is, for example, a lot of rain, you say it's rainy season or rainy dry. Okay, rainy season or rainy, sorry, rainy season or rainy place. 
Yes, when there is no rain, I call it dry. When there is a lot of rain or a lot of water, I say that it's rainy place. Yes, now. Uh, by this, this is the three ideas that I want to explain to now. Characters, nine characters. Please, it's Vietnam, and I said to you that the stories at that time was uh, the stories at that time uh, was not real. Okay, the stories at that time was not real at all. Not like the stories in our uh, in our time. And the time is dry season, yani season where there is no rain at all no rain or no water at all now i will uh, continue i will start by reading and explaining the main idea okay this is the first idea that i explained this is the second one this is the third one but one idea i want to tell you about okay now uh, roster tiger bees and tot what you see and what you notice in this story a great one that it's not like the story that we studied before how you must not like the story? I will see you how. Uh, for example, uh, I have two students, they are talking with each other. Yes? For example, I have um, from grade 1B, I will choose Lohana or Caroline because they are always to talk with each other. Lohana, they are friends. Oh, Caroline. Okay? Now, Lohana says, for example, good morning, Caroline. Caroline answered, good morning, Lohana. How are you? Lohana says, how are you? Caroline says, I'm fine, and you? When I have two students, they are talking with each other like this, we call this dialogue. Dialogue. What's the meaning of dialogue? Dialogue, when I have two characters or two students, they are talking with each other. One character gives sentence, another character gives sentence, then another character gives sentence, then another character gives sentence. Have them say me, dialogue. Dialogue is what I call it, uh, uh, talking, a kind of talking between two characters or, uh, for example, two, uh, two students. Yep, from two characters or from two, between, between, sorry, two characters or between two students. This story is a kind of dialogue. We have characters, they are talking with each other, okay? This story is a kind of dialogue. They are talking with each other. Look, for example, Roster says, the mud is dry. You know the meaning of mud, dear grade one B? Mud, mama, is soil, soil with water. When you put soil with water, you will have mud. Yes, soil plus water makes mud. Yes, soil with water makes mud for you. When you put your feet in the mud, you say, wow, what's this? My feet or my shoes are uh, full of mud, okay? A mud and soil with water. Mud is dry. There is no food to eat. We need water. Tiger, the river is dry. There is no water to drink. We need water. Bees now, you see the dialogue? Roster says, Tiger says, Bee says, Todd says. This is what I call a dialogue. When I have characters, they are talking after each other. They are talking with, with each other. Roster, the mud is dry. There is no food to eat. We need water. Tiger, the river is dry. There is no water to drink. We need water. Bees, the flowers are dry. We need flowers to, re to live. We need water. Todd now, let's go to the emperor in the clouds. I want to stop uh, um, at the sentence of the Todd. Let's go to the emperor in the clouds. Let's ask the emperor for rain. Let's ask the emperor for rain. Look at the imagination in this sentence. Look, in the last sentence, Todd says, let's go to the emperor. Emperor who lives in the clouds. Do you, do you know any people, any person, any man, any woman who lives in the clouds? Who lives in the clouds? No. 
emperor lives in the clouds, how we must, this is the imagination. This is something not real. This is the first point, which tells you, your mama, that here we have imagination. This is not real. We don't have emperor lives in the clouds at all. Emperor lives, in, for example, in, in uh, uh, like the king, in a kingdom, uh, lives like us, for example. Yes, but we don't have emperor who lives in the clouds. Now, uh, number two, let's ask the emperor for rain. Why do they want to go to the emperor? They want rain. They want to tell him, please, emperor, send us rain. Send us rain. Who sent rain for people? The emperor or God? The emperor or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He said, no. Who sent uh, rain for people? Who sent rain for the world? Who sent uh, rain for uh, uh, all countries? Is God, not the emperor. Yes? This is the imagination. This is something not real. These two points, okay, number one, that the emperor lives in the clouds. This is not real. Number two, they want the emperor to send the rain. And we don't have any person in the world send the rain on the earth or send the rain to the countries. Only God send the rain to, uh, to the ground, to all the places on the earth. Yes, these are the two uh, imagination points in this story. No emperor live in the clouds and no emperor send the rain to people. Yes? Now, uh, another thing that I want you to memorize. I said to you that you have to memorize the characters, the place, and the time. Characters, nine characters, we have to memorize their names. The place of the, character, the, place of the story is Vietnam. And I said to you that the stories at that time uh, was not real was not real at all. They uh, were not like the stories in our time. And number three, we can say that the time of the story is dry season. Dry season is the time of the story, okay? Dry season. Number four, what I want you to concentrate on it is that this story is dialogue. What the meaning of dialogue? Dialogue means that uh, we have characters, they are talking with each other, okay? Characters, they are talking with each, with each other. Now, the fourth thing, or the fifth thing that I want you to concentrate on, who says this sentence? Who says this sentence? I will repeat for you the idea only. Roaster needs food to eat. Tiger needs water to drink. Bees need flowers to live. Todd needs to go to the emperor to ask him for rain. When I ask you, yeah, great one, I will ask you, who says we need water? You have to tell me, tiger. Who says we need food? There is no food. You say, roster. Who says we need flowers? You say, bees. Who says, for example, let's go to the emperor? Todd. Who said, let's go and ask the emperor for rain? Todd, please, moms, if you want to have the students and you want him to understand the story, make them memorize the story like this, okay? Yeah, and ask them questions. Yes, ask them questions by... Ask them questions. Dima and Walid, we have finished the lesson, mama. Uh, why are you uh, why are you late from the session from the session today? I finished explaining the story. Any student who will enter my class after at this time or before this time by five minutes at least, okay, I will not put him present. If you want to enter the class at the last five minutes, don't enter at all, please. Okay, don't enter only in order to put you present in the class. I want the students to, to understand well over 10% from the information. So please, I know that the, uh, uh, the situation is difficult. Yes, but we try. Uh, who said there is no food to eat? We say roster. Who said there is no water to drink? Tiger. Who said there is no bee, no flowers to live? Bees. 
who said uh, there is no emperor, uh, sorry, uh, let's go to the emperor, you say Tot. Who said let's ask the emperor for rain, you say Tot. This is how the students will understand the story by this, it will be easy for them. But if you want to memorize them word by word, it will be difficult. I will repeat things that I want them from page 116. Okay, number one, I want the name of the characters and their numbers. Number two, I want the place of the character. You have to say Vietnam only. Okay, number three, uh, I want the time of the uh, story and you have to say that the time of the story is a dry uh, season. Okay, what I wrote on the board. Number five, I, uh, the, kind, the kind of the story is dialogue. Okay, not reading, not, sto not reading story. No, it's a dialogue. You have two characters, they are talking with each other. You have to say dialogue. Okay, dialogue. This is the, the, the kind of this story. The kind of this story is dialogue. This is uh, number four. And number five, I want you to tell me who said, who said uh, this sentence? Who said this sentence? For example, you said for me, uh, there is no food to eat. Who said this? You say, a roster. Uh, we need the flowers. Who needs the flowers? Who said we need the flowers to live? You say bees. Okay, then you, you know that the bees fly on the flowers and if the flowers die, the bees will die. Yes, where the bees will go if there is no flowers? Yes, and we say that the, the roster, the tiger and the bees, they need water. When we talked about water in grade one, I said to you that all the living things need water. All the living things need water. Animals, or humans, or, or, uh, or plants. All these need water. Yes, here the roster need water, need food. Okay, and because they need food, you need water. Tiger need water to drink. Bees need the flowers to live. And Todd said to them, let's go to the emperor and ask him to send the rain for us. This is the ideas that I want you to understand from this story. Now we have only less than five minutes. I want who prepared reading page 116 in the house? Who prepared reading? Raise your hand if you want to read. Uh, I will start with Yusuf Hassan. Open your mic. Read. The man, man, mud, mud is dry. <coughs> he, there. there is no food to eat. We we need water. Yes. Continue. The, the river river what is dry dry. There no is no water to drink. We need water. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Yusuf. Excellent. Who need, who wants to read also? Yalla, Abu Bakr. I will open the mic for you. Excellent, Yusuf. Always you are an interactive and active student with me. Thank you very much. Yalla, Abu Bakr. Now read about the bees. What, what the bees say? Read. The flowers, the flowers are dry. We need flowers to live. Yes. We need to live. Go to the emperor. Let's, let's go to the emperor in the flood and ask him. And ask him, we need rain. Thank you very much. Excellent, oh, excellent students. Who need or who wants to read? Also, raise your hand to see you. 
Who will read for me page 116? I want two students. Where are you, my students, to read? Yalla Abdul Rahman, open your mic. Okay, yeah, read. Start the story from the beginning. Go to the emperor. Let me read the sentence, about the sentence which the bees say. Okay. The flowers yes. are dry. We need flowers to live. Yes. We need water. Let, let's go to the emperor. And uh, in the clouds, clouds mm -hmm. ask the emperor for rain. Thank you very much. Before I say goodbye for you, I want to repeat uh, for uh, mothers what are things that you have to concentrate, please, uh, the students. Uh, concentrate on the students to memorize them. The first one, the name of the characters in the story and their number. Number two, the place of the story, which is Vietnam. Number three, the time of the story, which is dry season or dry months. You are free, dry season or dry months. Number four, the kind of the story, which is dialogue. And I explained for you the meaning of dialogue. Yani two characters or more than two characters, they are talking with each other. Okay, and the last thing, when I ask the student, for example, who says there is no food? He says for me, roster. Who said there is no water? Tiger. Who said there is no flowers? Uh, bees. Who said let's go to the temp emperor? Uh, he said tot. Who said let's ask the emperor for rain? He said tot. Only this, I think by this way, the story will be easy for them. Each lesson, I will tell you what are things that you have to concentrate on it because the story is too long and I want only some ideas from it. Okay, and some important, only the important ideas from it. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Love you all, grade one. Goodbye, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, miss. Bye, teacher. Bye, miss.